Wow. I've talked to all of the family pretty regularly. It's really good. Yeah. What are you doing these days? Mm. Do you have um do you have life insurance? Mm -hmm. Do you have a will? Do you have a will? No. Well, stuff happens. And I know, I mean, it's not about now, but it's about it's something where that happens. I just want to make sure that there's a there's an outline of things that you. This want is a pork belly sandwich. And then if something did happen, what type of? I pray that you should at least have a wheel so that if something were to happen, you know, and I have the same conversation with mom. If something were to happen, you need to, you need to, you need to be able to know what you want done. Because if there is no will, this is going to be so okay. It's so good. To a base. And I'll take it back to Nigeria. Thank you. It's good. Like it? It is good. I like that in it, that bread. It's like a, almost like an English muffin bread. Yeah, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. I, I just, I don't know. I'm just, it's a matter of now. Whether you care or not, it's just a matter of now. Mm. If that's it, then yeah, we can make sure you spread your ashes in Nigeria. So. Yeah, that's that's what it rules for. It's not like you know, I know I don't really ask for stuff unless it's dire need. It's a matter of just being able to quickly. Well, even even if it's a conversation, just let me know what you want done. Uh, otherwise, yeah. I mean, I know you're not going anywhere now. You are seven. I said you are seventy three. You have had health concerns. Mom is in worse shape than you, but. I, I told her the same thing. I'm having one of my friends call her this week about getting her set up on um, some life, uh, life insurance because she is not in the best of ways and is not going to have the money to be able to do things. So I just want to let you that you have your affairs and orders for hopefully something that is this good to have and you should have get into your but hey, let me call you back later, Dad. I'm out on this date with this lovely, lovely lady. You don't have to you'd rush be happy. Her. She's Nigerian, so you'd be happy. She's Nigerian. Tell me my Igbo, I'm not Yoruba. She's uh, your Igbo. Uh -huh, I'm not Yoruba. <laughs> His voice, he's like, yeah. <laughs> what part? You from the east? Delta. The Delta. I'm not from Asapa, I'm from, not from he's not going to know this, it's a small town, does he know it? Do you know, do you know that place, Ashimli North, she said it's a small town, you passed it, what is it near, it's near Asaba? Mm -hmm. yeah it's near Asaba. Yeah, he's from Benin. Yeah, that no, makes sense with all the art imports, exports. Uh, are you still doing your import export business or no? No, no, no. I was just asking. Yeah. I, okay. Well, no, it's a good connection to have. I mean, there's lots of resources there. I just really would need to know what type of commodities um, we have for. Okay.
I'll keep my ears to the ground. Right, Dad, let me call you later, boss. All right, love you. Bye. Bye. Longest conversation I had with him in probably a year and a half. Wow. He just can be somewhat disrespectful. You know, have trauma and triggers built up because of him. But it's my dad. I still love him. I'm the only one out of the three kids he still talks to. Him. Yeah, I, I can only imagine what it would be like to be older and have three kids and have none of the money they would do. That is a big reason why I still stay in contact with him. Then, you know, he is my dad. Okay, guys, I'm actually going to go on my date. <laughs> that was... Ah! Someone called me a food predator. <laughs> <laughs> Hide your sandwiches. Hide <laughs> <laughs> your veggies. <laughs> your dips too. Why are you happy with all this? Stop to me. <laughs> yeah, love you. They called me a food predator. You see what you just did to that sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> that sandwich is so good. You want to try the other one? I'll take it. I get it. Okay. I'm going to swap that one for the salad. Is that, is that mine? All of it was ours. I figured it was shit. Mm, okay. Mm, guys, check this out. Not you feeding me. Of course. They don't think I'm in a relationship. Let them think of the one. It'll only garner more interest. <laughs> this looks good. This looks hella good. You like cheese? I love cheese. Um, mm. I thought you were taking that bite for yourself. No. And then you put it in my mouth. Oh. Put it in my mouth. <laughs> You're so caring. Uh, Mystery man feeds Cora on her live. And the <laughs> <laughs> Early hours of, of You're the supposed afternoon. to be watching some stupid homecoming football game if you have not interested. I tried to get all three flavors on that one thing so that you could. I, I just face, face stuffed my face with that. Sandwich. I saw it and I was just like, oh, she's not going to have room for anything. I have no room for <laughs> anything else. <laughs> I was like, package on this vegetable because I know I need it. So you said it healthy. This was like the least healthy thing. So I got like the hummus spread with the dip taste light and refreshing, right? <laughs> <laughs> like I like pork belly and like, there's lettuce, I guess that's healthy. This salad is so good. These are tasty, y'all. Yeah. The dips? Mm -hmm. I love hummus. I know that you're, you're like definitely Eritrean with like a little bit like, you have some Ethiopian side. You know, on my dad's side, they're pretty, that bloodline is pretty much Yoruba. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only person in his entire family I know that married a non Yoruba woman out of all his brothers. My dad's 73, and he's not the oldest. Come guess. Are they alive? Yeah. My great uncle lived to 106. Had a shot of uh, Remy every morning. They had his walker that's fully cognizant all the way up to the point that he passed. You know, I had to live in a table. Had a shut up penny every morning. Mm -hmm. Wow. Still ate what he wanted, just like my dad smokes and drinks and does what he wants. And he's had some health concerns, but he still does the same thing. He's 73 or something. I'm talking to him and my mom about wills and life insurance because you know, we don't have the best relationship. But I was like, you know, because I don't know what to do. I'm a teammate. He's like, there's nothing wrong with that. His best friend. Who passed away was cremated. I didn't never knew that. But, um, I was like, I'll cremate you and spread your ashes in Nigeria or something. But you don't have a, something to let me know. And I told him about the life insurance. He was like, when I switch careers, you know, I'll make so much more money that he's going to send me to He's going to say, I'm going to lie. <laughs> when these numbers hit, you're going to be living at large. <laughs> Next thing you know, you know, he passed away two years later. I was like, yeah. 
because I'm not paying for no big lavish funeral, especially not in well, Nigeria. It'd be cheaper, but it's never cheap. A funeral is never cheap. It's never cheap, but cheaper. Never. It's like a wedding in Nigeria for for for, for twenty thousand dollars. Man, you have a great wedding here. Twenty k, you have like twenty five people. It's not, you know, it's weddings are expensive here in the U.S. You know. So what are we gonna do when you get married to me? Are you trying to tell me you're not gonna do a lavish wedding? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna do whatever my future wife wants. Ultimately, it'll be for more about what she wants. And I don't care. I can drop a groom and get a tattoo on <laughs> my finger and be happy. Because the wedding's not for you. It's for all the people in your life that help you get to that point. Mm. When you think about it, you're not spending money on it. It's stressful for you. It's time consuming. It requires a lot of planning that no one else does. And then the other people who attend them just get to come in celebration of the people who helped you get to the point that you are thus far in your life. So, you know, for me, they're people, but the most important thing, happy wife, happy life. If she wants a lavish wedding, I mean, I need to be in position, but I definitely am going to be like, hey, listen, we can have this lavish, lavish wedding or we can go to, you know, we can go on a trip for two months, right? That's how much weddings cost. And if she's still like, I want the wedding, I'm like, all right, cool, we'll do the wedding. Definitely. I want a lavish wedding. I want like 200 people. I want like... <laughs> did you have a lavish wedding already? Never did. No? Never did. No. I don't know. It just never did. They use the money for other things. Mm. And see, that's kind of the mindset I would be in. But if you want to have that, like, it's cool. You can have your white wedding, your traditional wedding. And have people feel money on I think now, if I ever get married again, I definitely will have a wedding just to say that I had one. Because sometimes when people ask, did you ever get married, like, properly, I'm like, a little, like, hmm. My best friend, she was supposed to have a wedding, but her dad was sick. And so he passed before he could walk her down the aisle, so they postponed it. Oh, no. And then she, you know, got pregnant <laughs> with twins, and they were due around the time that she supposed to have the wedding. So her and her husband have been married. I'm like, your fiance, she's like, no, my husband, we got married two years ago, technically, but they haven't had a wedding. So, and I don't know if they will go back and have one now, because now, you know, they work, they own a business together, they have twins. And you know his mom, he's like from... Libya, like he's from, he's North African, French, whatever. And uh, so his mom and his sister moved down to stay with him indefinitely to help with the babies, which is nice, but also no more fucking money. Sheesh. I mean, shit, I would take the help. Yeah, I'll take the help. I'll, I'll <laughs> a living free nanny? Like, I'll, find a, I'll find a place to, you know, do it on a camera somewhere else. Go get an Airbnb. Exactly. <laughs> Nannies are expensive. Tell me about it. We have nannies for the kids. It's worth it, though. Hmm? It's worth it. It's a lot of money. Even if I have to wear Old Navy, which is very comfortable, and I actually enjoy it. What's wrong with Old Navy? Nothing. It's just, you know, less expensive. I like Old Navy. What about? <laughs> One of my jean jackets I have, everyone compliments me on. I got from Old Navy, and when I got from Banana Republic, I have to have tailored because it doesn't fit. But that Old Navy denim jacket, solid. And here you are saying, even if I have to wear Old Navy, I like nice things. You like nice things? That's the Yoruba in you. <laughs> are you Yoruba demon? It depends if you're trying to be on demon time. Ooh. <laughs> we didn't order any dessert. Because you know what you're eating for dessert. <laughs> Come on. Don't play with me. Don't play with it. You're going to learn. And you will learn the odd way. <laughs> It'll be hard for one of us. I'm not going to be the one out of breath. <laughs> Sometimes mystery hard man. lessons are the best lessons. Sarah offers her pity as a dessert to mystery man on her live video. <laughs> the internet slots was fun. <laughs> this is the breaking news for tomorrow. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's delicious. You know my, I'll my, my, be going out here and order a bunch of stuff and then... No, everything is good. It's fresh and light like we were in. <laughs> You're fine now, look. You might as well get more than that. I don't care if you double dip. Turn it around or something. Yeah, there you go. Get in there. What are friends for? <laughs> You want more of this? This is really good. Salad? No, I'm good. Thank you. You're full after the half sandwich. We'll take this to go. You can take it with you and eat it full. I'm definitely not doing that in the same day. So you don't do leftovers? No, I don't do so huge <laughs> freaking take sandwiches. Take off the bread and just eat the pork belly. No, I won't do that because you destroy the beauty of food. Do you want this? Maybe for tomorrow. That's fine, as long as you eat it. Just a question or you just have a hand? I'm just letting the blood flow out of my hand. Yeah, so yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, so this is the mushroom. <laughs> I like this one's like light and refreshing. I like to mix it with the other one. So. Yogurt. Mystery man caressed for his neck. <laughs> Mm. Ah, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Man, after buying food for Cora, tries to scrub on her. <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> when they buy your shoes, they want to be grabbing and touching. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> We had to get you those shoes, so when you started getting snazzy like that, you had a comfortable <laughs> way to walk back to wherever you need to go. Mm. Why does the one on the right look better than the left? Is it just the, the brightness? Or? I think it's just the is brightness. Is it newer? Or? Yeah, it's this one's one. yeah. This one's newer though. Yeah. Which one is that? This one is an iPhone. Or Did you give me your which one is are they both same numbers or is one work number one person? One work number one person. I get the work number. You get the personal number just because you bought me shoes. <laughs> Don't you tell anyone about your shoes. <laughs> mm, they were, they were they? there. We were live when you bought the shoes. Yeah, but they don't have one. No, they don't. So Uh -oh. You can tell some stuff on She wouldn't be surprised. She's not going to be But we prefer that to. I really like this salad. I'm Quite refreshing. I enjoyed it. I wanted to order stuff healthy. The only thing we got that is because you just finished saying how much you like pork out so I was like, oh, everything else is pretty light and healthy. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. Mm. I love how I always see him. I know he's flexing.